Okay. All right, done. Okay, I have resources. Nice. Somebody is named iPhone over here. By the way, oh my God, why, why are you so important in today's class? Because trust me, I'm going to talk about it. Okay, so Ar Arkip says my brother gave me a weird stare when he smiled at him. Okay. Uh, Ilma, Ilma, what was the reaction? Who did you smile at and what was their reaction? Uh, <laughs> say my brothers were so confused. Okay. Balkis, tell me, who did you smile at? Okay. iPhone, really? <laughs> Do you really want me to call you iPhone? Okay, my mom smiled back. That's beautiful. Okay. What happened? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Balkis, you know what to tell your mother, right? Tell her I just gave my sadka for the day. Okay. And that's on how to be grateful and that's on how to be happy uh, in today's session that we have on SDG. Goal number three we are going to deal with, uh, it is good health and well-being. Okay. And if you remember, we covered three uh, infinity stones. That's the air we breathe, mental health, and gratitude. All right. Uh, who will tell me? Just, just to recap. Okay, I'm not here testing your intelligence. I'm not out here testing your uh, memory. Okay, I just want to know how many of you all know what are the steps of how to be happy. Quickly, what are the steps on how to be happy? You could put it in the chat. Come on, there were just four steps of how to be happy. One, we just did an activity on. Okay, you got to be grateful. That's nice, Elma. Okay, first think of something happy and then turn it to You need to meet me. <laughs> okay, smile. Yes, Elma, very good. Okay, be grateful, smile. What else? There was somebody with uh, flattery out here in the chat. I don't know what it was. But what do you do when you see something good in people? What do you do? Absolutely not. Compliment them. Thank you, Balkis. Okay, so you smile. You be grateful. You compliment. Okay, true compliments. Say good things. Yes, definitely. And the last one. Let them be on their own. Do not disturb them so that they are happy and you are happy as well. That's a win win situation. As much as I would love this to be the answer, but nope. Come on, you got it. Youth MBA, what should I call you in this class? The last one. It's, it's something to do with the opposite of being happy. Absolutely not. We don't do that here. Okay. Not on the my watch. Okay, come on. It's something of come on, okay. Don't do that. Give me the answer so that I can move ahead. Avoid thinking negative. <laughs> All right. You like to travel with teacher, don't you? Okay, it's not avoid thinking negativity, it's accepting your sadness. Somebody is being a savage today. What is with you and the violent behavior? I don't understand. Uh, you want to slap people. You want to push them off the cliff. What's going on, brother? Okay. Nonetheless, well, uh, I have a task for you. I have a task for you. Okay. What you have to do is you have to search for... Uh, scientific discoveries that were stolen. Okay, quickly on Google. Quickly. Google and come up with any one scientific discovery that was stolen. <laughs> come on, I'm not going to take much of your time. Scientific discoveries that were stolen. Or the idea was stolen.
that was stolen yes yes uh, please please search Einstein's brain, Einstein's brain was stolen. That Einstein's brain is not a scientific discovery, by the way. Yeah. Come on. Fine. I realize I need to ask a few questions, not too many questions. So I'll just do that. But if you're good to me, I have something, some fun things for you. Like I have funny videos to show you and stuff. So you better be intelligent with your responses. Okay. Nonetheless, we'll continue with our infinity stones. And the next one that we are going to deal with is the power stone. It talks about the body and the immune system. Okay. Do you know? Come back, everybody. Come back. Come back from Google, okay? Do you know which country was the first one to actually go corona free? No, oh, I have eight responses. Uh, did something, he stole some finding from Rosalind Franklin. Okay, voila, Greenland. Uh uh. Voila, Greenland. Nope. It's not Greenland. New Zealand, that's right. Okay, Ilma, correct. Okay, so New, New Zealand was the first country to actually go corona free. And why and how did that happen? Or you just know the name of the country. It happened because as soon as the case of coronavirus or as soon as corona was declared to be a pandemic, the government of New Zealand gave all the authorities, they gave all the power to the medical department of the country. Okay, They handed all the power and all the authorities to the Ministry of Medicine, the Ministry of Health. Okay. And all the decisions related to this virus or the pandemic were taken by the medical ministry or it was taken by the health department. Okay? So whatever the experts in the field said needs to be done in the country was implemented immediately. Okay, There was no, uh, there was no political phase given to it. There was no religious phase given to it. Okay, They dealt with a disease and a virus like a disease and a virus. All right? And that's how they got to uh, they, they got corona free okay that was the first country to do that also let me tell you a story okay it is it says newsmaker over here but it's more it, it is more of a title a more of a headline yes okay so it says milk man milk pan and the smallpox milk made and the smallpox what's wrong with me i'm sorry okay so there was a beautiful milkmaid her face was flawless and her complexion peaches and cream so you can imagine how beautiful she must be Okay, just imagine. She, her smile confident as she bragged, I shall never have smallpox for I have cowpox. I shall never have an ugly pockmarked face. Okay, now when she boasted this, there was a 13-year-old thir orphan boy who heard the milkmaid boastful declaration of to immunity, of her immunity. And uh, that boy was Edward Jenner. Okay. No, he is nowhere related to Kylie Jenner. Okay, so you can be rest assured. Now, on May 14, 1796, Jenner took a fluid from a cowpox blister and he splashed it on the skin of an eight year old boy, James Phipps. All right, and uh, a slight blister appeared on the skin. Okay, but soon, but later, the eight year old boy, James, he recovered. All right, after that, what what uh, Edward did was he took the fluid from the blister of a smallpox and he applied it on the same boy's eight year uh, James skin. Okay. Later he realized that there is no disease or no infection that affected the boy. Okay. Smallpox never infected the boy, and thus the vaccine of smallpox was found. So the vaccine was a success, and it spread wide all over Europe, like, you know, a lot of uh, scientists and uh, doctors, they started making vaccinations from that very thing to, for multiple diseases that came forth, okay? And it is said, I'm sorry, why doesn't this work? And it's said that in science, credit goes to the man who convinces the world 
not the man whom the idea first occurs okay very much true like if you know how to sell your idea you know a lot of business like one and businessmen say that it is it is not the idea that you get it is the idea that you sell and success comes to you all right so this is just exact another like you know you can call it a story this is a real life thing that happened okay so our body and our immunity you know we need to take care of that uh when i say immunity and body one thing i'm reminded of is just just you i i can say last month or few weeks back uh i was taking this class of grade 10 students and uh, there was this boy in my class who wasn't feeling well so i just inquired how his health was and he was like ma'am uh i have you know contracted covid and things are pretty bad i'm not able to breathe but still I, so i was like you do not need to attend class you know you need to rest he said i was getting bored anyway so he just attended the class and i was like you know children please take care of yourself don't don't be so uh don't 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 uh, just go out and you know do stuff which which might like you know uh, make you immune to or make make you contract uh, this virus and stuff like that and uh, he was he was like yes ma'am thank you for your concern and all that and one boy in my class says ma'am there's nothing like corona virus okay i just stopped there i didn't know what to do and i was like why would you say that and he's like ma'am nothing will happen to us yeah yeah trust me <laughs> at full confidence full confidence that boy had even like ma'am there's nothing like corona virus okay and nothing is going to happen to us and i'm like on what grounds are you saying this like where are you getting your confidence from <laughs> what what is this and uh, i just cracked it okay like have you been having chavan prash or something <laughs> that's why you say all these statements and you know like no ma'am our immunity is very strong and i'm like excuse me i'm like i'm sorry but uh, you can't be so sure that your immunity is so strong that uh, you foolishly go out and you call the disease in so he was like uh, and i said it's on it's a serious you know fun or the right yeah that's right so and he was so he was so confident about it and i felt so bad at that time because i can understand when like you know ignorant people who do not know who do not have a background of like you know science or who haven't heard of this maybe like you know uneducated people they they might call it as like you know there's nothing as coronavirus but this boy <laughs> a city boy coming from a very good family educated and had that mindset or had that mentality it really hurt me uh, it just proved it was just a proof that you don't have to be educated in order to be ignorant okay i mean you can be like like uh, elon musk says like you know you could have a college degree you could have a bachelor's degree and you could still be an idiot okay so <laughs> that was just a proof of it and i was i was wondering you really majority of the youth in today's time the teenagers of today do they really have this kind of opinion it really got me thinking about it because here we are struggling as a world to get rid of this disease and there are people coming up with such opinions so tell me children of youth mba and when i was introduced to this program by doubt sir i always wanted to ask you this question please tell me which group do you belong to okay it's very important for me to know because uh, do you belong to the group that says there is nothing as corona virus and we have a we have a strong immune system because we have a strong immune system or do you really accept you are the ones living in reality and you accept the reality and you are smart enough to take care of yourself okay so please in the chat do let me know which group do you belong to Come on. Thank you, Ilma. Okay, that that one response gives me hope. Okay, it's just Ilma. It is there. Okay, thank you. Accepted reality. Thank you very much, Miss Ba. Yes. Okay. So with every response, there is a line of hope in my heart going up. Okay. Quickly, can you want to be the? groups okay there are two groups one who says 
nothing is going to happen to us. Uh, there is no coronavirus. Uh, there is nothing as coronavirus because our immunity is extremely strong. And there is another group who accepts the reality, smart enough to take care of the immunity and yet be safe from the virus. Okay, so we'll name group A for idiots and we'll name group B for uh, the ones accepting reality. Better safe than sorry, couldn't have framed it any better. Thank you, Arkip. All right, that's nice. The one who accepts reality, thank you, Balkis. That's it. Okay. I see. I, I get it. Okay. So I thank you very much. That's all I have to say. I'm so grateful. Okay. Next. Let's move on. Time zone. The power of sleep. So tell me, are you the Tom on your screen? Or are you the early to bed, early to rise, makes the person healthy, wealthy and wise? Which one are you? The Tom on the, how many Toms on the screen? Give me a thumbs up, quickly. Come on, zoom thumbs up. How many Toms do we have? 99% Tom, Ilma, yes. Okay, okay. Nadir. Okay. What's I mean? That's nice. Okay. That one percent still has some hope. I only sleep at night, nap time for me. Really, bro. Yes, uh, yes, so uh, say me and Yusuf, you raise your hand. Do you have something to say? I take time to sleep at night, but I guess I get it off sleep. Okay, night owl, Liba, that's nice. Naps aren't for me. Okay. You know, I call sleep my best friend. I could sleep anytime. I could sleep anywhere. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't understand the question. Yes, I can sleep 13 hours. Nice. Okay. You know what? Sleeping is actually important. Well, this is what everyone needs this. Yes, that is a superpower that everyone needs. Okay. And why do you think we need that superpower? So let's let's just ponder upon uh, what will happen if you do not sleep. Okay, sleep sleeping builds our immune system, definitely. What will happen if you do not sleep enough or your body doesn't get enough sleep or rest? Uh, we are prone to many diseases. Yes, sleep deprivation, definitely. We are going to be less productive. These are smart answers that I'm getting and they are good. Okay. Gonna be sick. Yep. We tried almost, we are tired almost the whole day. Yeah, exactly. We sleep in class. Um, That's not our fault that we sleep in class. Nadia, don't blame yourself for that. Okay. But uh, yeah, if you do not sleep at night, you will definitely fall asleep during the daytime. And uh, day has been made for us to be productive. And night time has been made for us to rest, okay? Which is clearly mentioned in our book, okay? And it is it is a no-brainer that you need to sleep and you need your body needs enough sleep because we've been designed that way. Okay, you have no idea how many friends I had to convince to sleep properly at night. <laughs> okay, I wish we could do something about our friends, but alas, we can't. I think a long lecture the important but oh, that's nice. You tell me how, how is it important because that is exactly what I want in today's class. You know, I want you to take, I want you to go from, you know, how important it is to get sleep. So if you think well, and I have written responses in the chat saying that you won't be productive, you will feel tired the entire day, you would want to sleep at some point of time, you will. Uh, you will catch a lot of diseases, you will fall sick, okay? So these are reasonable answers for not having proper sleep, okay? But the most important one, and obviously these answers lead to that, is that ultimately, if you deprive yourself of sleep, you will become black Spider-Man, okay? 
why do you think spider-man turned black let me ask you that question venom okay he's from Venice. what's wrong with that venom venom Okay, he had problems. I'm just guessing here. Okay, let's just call him Black Spider Man for now. He had problems in his life. Yeah. What problem did he have in his life? And some relatives. On why you know, like, not to sleep very late at So, still in prison. Okay. No, but but your parents did a good job. Trust me, even that effort of, you know, making people aware of how important sleep is, is enough for them to be blessed. Okay, so don't feel sad. Do not feel saddened if people don't listen to you or don't regard. You should try your best. Come on, now you said he had problems in his life. Could you name few problems? He was Spider Man. He became from a no man to a spider man. He became from a normal person uh, to a superhero. Okay? With great powers, what came? Depressed spider. <laughs> yes, yes, with great powers came responsibility. No, Arki, what is wrong with you? With great powers came depression. No, 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 no. Okay, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. His responsibility increased so much, so much that ultimately he could not get proper sleep. And he faced exhaustion. Okay. He faced exhaustion and that took a toll on his mental health. He started hallucinating about himself. Being a guy, being a Spider-Man himself who doesn't really care about the world, okay? Apart from the good Spider-Man, he started hallucinating about himself that, okay, you know, I need a break. And this dude over here is giving, giving me that break that I need. So that is how important sleep is for you to not turn Okay, for you to not turn into Black Spider-Man and Rat Man, please, please, you need to sleep. Okay, and how how do we fall asleep? Now let me let me uh you I know it's a very stupid question to say how do we fall asleep, but here it is. Here's the action plan of not having to count the sheep during night because we can't fall asleep. Rather, we can do these things. Okay. Get up at the same time every day. Okay. The very first point over here says is the opposite of sleeping, right? You were expecting something when mom was like, oh, dust your bed and then put the pillow in. No, 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 no. Let's start by waking up. Okay. Because that is going to help us to sleep better. So you have to make sure that you wake up every morning at the same time. Okay. On the same time. Close your eyes. <laughs> is there a brown Spider-Man? No, you could be one though. Okay, I don't know if you've seen Zedaliti's video, Daisy Spider-Man. But that's funny. Okay, so everybody, what time you wake up? Yes. Does uh, do do you wake up at the same time every day, or do you have different times of the day when you're uh, around six, seven? Okay, me, I wake up at noon mostly. Different times, exactly. Don't worry, I'm okay. 11, I wake up for uh, around 7, 8. Okay, all right. See, the answers are very unsure around 7, 8, or 7 to 8, or around noon, you know, wherever my eyes open. Okay, all these are responses that I get. So, from now on, in order to on weekends, I wake up a little late, definitely. Okay, come on, looks nice. So, I this is how I know people are praying for them, by the way. You ask them, what time do you wake up? And you get to know the person who's waking up for further All right, coming to the next one. Go to bed when you are sleepy and not just tired. When you're actually sleepy 
and you're yawning to glory all the time. And now this is your signal. All right, your body is telling you, dude, I cannot take anything. Just, just go to bed. Okay, that's your body telling you that it is tired. It is not just tired. It is sleepy. All right, actually, your eyes are drooping. So that is the time when you go to bed. I know, right? Tom is working overtime. Just look. Okay. Oh, here comes the there is a put away all electronics two hours before bedtime. I have a question, but I don't know whether I should ask you this or not. Because trust me, I am as guilty as you would ever be. So let's just ignore this very good point. Not ignore, I mean, maybe we should try and do it. You and me both. Okay, we sail in the same boat. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the team. Okay. Put away all electronics. We need to take note of that. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next point. Create a comfortable sleep environment. Wow. So you need to have a prop, your bed, your comfortable pillow, the softest pillow in the house. And by... And when I say softest pillow in the house, you need to have a good air conditioner or a fan if you have in the house. I don't mean you go around with uh, fighting with your family members that no, our arm has told us we need the softest pillow. So please give it to me. Otherwise you're gonna face something very bad that you don't expect. Okay, I don't mean you to do that. All right, I'm just gonna dogs walking about. No, do not kill people. You sleep or you rather put them to sleep. Okay, watch something on your device until you feel sleep. Best mother. No, 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 no. That's very incorrect. Okay. So we are creating a comfortable environment by what we mean comfortable environment is we create a very sound environment where things are not making noise and everybody is trying to go to sleep at the same time in the house, around the same time in the house. Okay. And if there is somebody who's pulling an all-nighter for exam or for work or anything related to that, that maybe the person can, you know, do his or her work in the living room and not disturb the other family members. You included. Let's see what you have to say. You all have so much to say, but you would never unmute yourself and speak. I don't know why. Show some empathy to your speaker. Okay, you know, same here when I was in India at night, so the dogs kept barking and like, we're so loud and annoying. Yeah. We need to write a letter to the dog community now. Okay. All right. Coming to the reality stone. Body parts. Let me ask you something. There's a monkey. There is a monkey right here. Okay. And if you give monkey bananas, if you keep bananas and money in front of the monkey, what would the monkey choose? The monkey would choose money. Ilma, I am not asking what would you choose. I am asking what the monkey would choose. Okay. Come on, tell me. Knowing the true nature of monkey. You know, we are not talking about those city monkeys, the trained monkeys that come into the city. Knowing the nature of monkey as an animal, as a wild creature. What would they choose? Banana because monkey has no financial problems. Thank you. Smart answer. Banana, yes. The monkey would choose banana, all right? But what the monkey doesn't know is that if he closed money, he could buy more bananas with it, okay? And this parable, this example has been given by one of the famous business tycoons called Jack Ma. You know who's Jack Ma? Who's Jack Ma? You know who's Jack Ma? Alibaba, yes, that's right. Okay, the founder of Alibaba, all right? And he said that you need, if, if in front of a monkey, you place bananas and money, the monkey is definitely going to choose bananas because the monkey doesn't know that the, the very same money that he rejected can buy him more bananas. What he, mean, what he meant by that and what he related this parable to was that if you give people health and money, what would people choose? People would choose money, okay? But people don't know that if they have good health, that could bring them more money. 
just like the monkey. Okay. So but then if they have a lot of money, then they can fix their health. Yes, they can definitely fix their health. But before fixing, don't we say prevention is better than cure? It's better to be safe than sorry. All right. So True, if you have but a then health, you will still it, have a lot of money. Yeah, but if you have a healthy body, you will not be so prone and immune to diseases. You will not be wasting your money on your health. Rather than you will be earning money with that strong health, healthy body that you have. Okay. So think about it. It makes sense, maybe. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, when we say valuing ourselves, we also mean that we got to value every part of our body, don't we? Okay. How many for iPhones? Yes, look at this picture. How many for iPhones? No? Come on, there's a meme right in front of you. Do you want an iPhone? If you could. <laughs> oh, it's smart. Okay, there are some rich people out here. Okay, I'm not asking you to choose the payment method of payment, all right? I'm just saying that have you come across these these means where I have something. <laughs> okay, the Samsung community is one of the kind and no one can make a duplicate for, right? Definitely. Okay, so this is what I mean by valuing ourselves. When you say valuing ourselves, we value every body part, every part of the body that we have. Okay, so there's this, this joke that is going around that iPhones and our technologies and gadgets have become so, so expensive that people in order to get that, people are even ready to sell off their kidneys, okay? So it's, we have two kidneys, so it's two of the kidneys. Don't do that, don't do that. I'll keep on laughing. My kidneys. <laughs> All right. So you get the point, right? People have given value to materialistic things. People have given value to things that are not even as important more than themselves. Okay. It is not very wise if you ask me. Okay. All right. I have a video to show you. One minute. I hope. Okay. Yeah. There it is. All right. All right. Kidney or blackberry? Yes. Blueberry. Yes, definitely. Okay. So let us not be like these people. Okay. Let us not be like these people. Blackberry. All right. See, I, I would love you to be unmuted, but not like this. Okay. So what do we understand from this? What is the message? What is the takeaway that we get? Quickly. You got to respect yourself. You got to respect your body. You got to respect, you got to value yourself. Okay. And that is something that can never, never be compared or you can never, ever let go of yourself or your part of your body or do not underestimate what you have been blessed with. Okay. And as I say, in order to become humble, now that doesn't mean you go around saying, oh, I'm so precious. Okay. My kidney is as precious as an iPhone and you don't go around, go around saying that because Trust me, ultimately, all this that you have do not really doesn't really belong to you. You are, in fact, supposed to take care of yourself because you will be ultimately answerable as to why did you not take care of your body and yourself. So moving on, oh, ultimately, we come towards the end of the session. It says bye-bye world, okay? I know I was supposed to... Uh, 
you know, I, th there is a different title that I'm supposed to give, but I thought it would be too much of a negativity and I did not want that to happen. Therefore, I said bye bye world. But what is happening to Thanos over here? Yes. As much as we talk about good, good health and well being, respecting ourselves, being grateful, uh, you know, giving importance to our body, taking care of our body and immune system, being healthy, wealthy and wise, we cannot ignore the fact that death is inevitable. Okay? Ultimately, that is the only reality I see. That is the only truth that exists. And yet we choose to ignore it. Okay? So I kept it towards the last because, of course, it gives a little bit impact. No, 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 no. We are not going out killing people. We are talking about death that comes to us. Okay? Uh, we turn into dust. Yes? From the very source that we are made, we return to that. And uh, every soul has to taste death. So do not, do not ignore that reality. Do not ignore the ultimate truth that we are going to face. Okay? Always remind yourself at least one time a day what your destiny is, what your reality is, okay? At least once a day, you got to do that. Towards the end, I would just like to summarize this entire SDG goal of good health and well-being with a short video. I hope you take things away from that video. I'm not going to ask you what is there in the video, and I do not expect you to remember that. But just a short video, and then we end our session over there. Let me just move, let me just close that big buddy guy. Still there. Okay. Everyone deserves the right to be physically and mentally healthy. It's why the UN have made good health and well being for all a global priority. Health is defined in a variety of ways. When we get a checkup with a doctor, things like our weight, our behavior, and our genetics are important. We measure the health of communities and nations by talking about things like life expectancy, number of doctors and nurses, mortality rates, and the cost of medicine. But what does a healthy country look like? If you want to live beyond the age of 80, you should think of moving to Italy, one of the largest countries in Europe it's officially the healthiest country in the world. Why is that? Italians live on a healthy Mediterranean diet consisting of fresh fruit, vegetables, fish, dairy products, olive oil, and red wine. They eat pizza too, but everything in moderation. Italians have access to free healthcare, clean water, and education. And the number of doctors working there is high, but it's not the same everywhere. Unhealthy habits can have a negative effect on our health and well-being. When we eat unhealthy foods, drink too much alcohol, and smoke cigarettes, we can become sick with non-communicable conditions like obesity and heart disease. But our health and well-being is also subject to change from external forces. Unhealthy infrastructure, like poor sanitation and lack of clean running water, can lead to the spread of communicable diseases like malaria, diarrhea, and flu, some of the leading causes of death in developing countries. And under-resourced, mismanaged healthcare systems can worsen the spread of non-communicable diseases because they don't have the doctors and nurses to treat patients or the money to pay for medicine. And in countries where healthcare is not free, lots of people cannot afford to pay for the care they need. But it's not all bad news. In fact, the signs are good. Between the years of 2000 and 2015, global life expectancy increased by five years. That's because governments are partnering with health organizations everywhere to invest in better infrastructure, train doctors and nurses, and eradicate diseases like polio. In countries like Uganda, professional midwives are giving more women access to safe delivery during pregnancy. And in research hospitals all around the world, scientists are working on new vaccines and cures. Our health is connected to the health of everyone on the planet because illnesses know no borders, but neither do cures. 
If we pay attention to our own health and well-being, we can make the world a happier, healthier, more prosperous place. Okay, so with that, I take your leave, everybody. Have a good week, and I'll see you next week, inshallah, hopefully. All right? Bye-bye, and take care, everybody. It is healthy because it's Yeah, true that. Okay. Adios, mi amigos.